What do I do? What if it really isn't a person? Still, I locked the door, so it should be fine. Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shanna, and this way I share my life and stories and adventures and opinions, and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with another creepy, spooky story from the Webtoon series, A Vault of Horror, A Collection of Nightmares. The link to the story will be down in the description box below, so make sure to go show the author and the artist some love. And if you too would like me to read your creepy, spooky story or your real paranormal experience, the link to that email is also down in the description box below. I look forward to reading your stories, reading your experiences, and without too much rambling, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today we're on episode number seven. The following is a work of fiction. This work contains scenes which may be disturbing for some readers, so those with weak hearts are advised not to read on. The Vault of Horror, A Collection of Nightmares, A Bathroom Tale. Art and Story by Young Chun Huang, edited by Edge Rabbit. Ugh, this sucks. This damn constipation. Tick. Huh? What the? Normally, I would have thought it was one of my friends playing a trick on me. What? There's something hiding in our school's bathroom? I told you. There's a ghost in there. You're nuts. I'm serious. I heard it from someone in another class. You know, that girl who was taken away a few days ago while she was studying? Young Min Lee? Yeah. Well, they say that she was taken away because she saw a ghost in the bathroom and it scared her so bad, she fainted. I don't buy it. I heard she just slipped and fell and bumped her head. Listen, that's what some kids say to try not to freak you out. I heard from a friend who went to see young men at the hospital. That the light suddenly went out in the bathroom and she heard footsteps and she was scared. So she tried to open the door and leave, but something was there. Oh, that terrified face. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> huh? Where are you going? You guys talking about the ba bathroom makes me have to go. This is serious, you know. Hey, don't go in the last stall on the right. She's gonna go in the last stall on the right. Damn Yoon Young trying to freak me out. I just sat here out of curiosity. This is the last stall on the right, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to make me look stupid. What's there to be afraid of? Step, step, step. What's that? Is someone coming? She said something appears in the school bathroom. Step, step. A ghost? What could it be? Is it someone coming to use the bathroom? Clink, clink. Ugh, I wish they'd cut it out. This is freaking me out. Clink, clink. What's that sound? What are they doing? Clink, clink. Wait, tremble. They're not opening each stall, are they? Uh, it's getting closer. Step, step. What do I do? What if it really isn't a person? Still, I locked the door, so it should be fine. Creak. Huh? Ooh, someone's definitely there. This art is creepy because it's so dark. Ah! Ah! Damn it, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack. Thump, thump. Huh? Thump. Yin Young, here. I told you not to use this stall before because it was out of toilet paper, but you didn't listen to me and lock the door next time. Someone might see you. <laughs> Did I scare you? I thought you didn't believe me. Uh, looks like the light in here went out again. I'll ask someone to fix it. Take your time. <laughs> okay. Ugh, geez, what the hell? I'm so embarrassed. I should have known. Oh my God, it's above her head. There's no such thing as ghosts anyway. 
a bathroom tale end of episode well i want to know what the ghost's gonna do to her dang that was an interesting little story the ghost looks kind of cute though oh this one lets you zoom in on it look at that <laughs> okay don't mind me don't mind me I would give this story another three out of five ghosts, personally. It was a good story. It was cute. It wasn't super scary. The art was really, really good, though. Maybe we'll bump it up to a four out of five ghosts because the art was really good. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below, but let's see what some of the other people who read this had to say. A room without toilet paper is the scariest one. Yes, 10 out of 10. Agree. Ha 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 ha. What's the fun in peeping at someone who's taking a <laughs> dump? Plus it's smelly. What a perverted ghost. No joke. No joke. I mean, moaning Myrtle. I'm just saying, moaning Myrtle. Funny that the faces of the people freaking out is actually more scary than the face of the ghost itself. That's why I said he cute though. <laughs> all right. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below because that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave the little, is it chocolate frozen yogurt or is it poop emoji? Not only does it help out my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you were here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my channel, down below the links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon, there's zero obligation to check any of those out. But if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. Remember to stay geeky AF and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>